Hi everybody, welcome back to you Tips For You. Today I have a great hairstyle to show you. It's a French braid that goes across the back of your hair and down the front. It's really pretty. And it's actually very popular right now. You'll see it on a lot of actresses on TV and I'm going to show you how to do it. So all you're going to need is a hairbrush and a hair tie. Um, and that's it. So let's get started. Um, first what you want to do is brush your hair if you haven't already so that it's easy for you to get your hands through it. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take from the right side of your head, you're going to make three sections and we're going to work from the right side to the left side because I want my braid to be down the left side of my head, okay? So we're going to start with over here and you're just going to French braid like you normally do and if you really need excellent directions on how to do a French braid. Please see my French braid tutorial on how to do it um, because here we're going to focus more on the hairstyle. So now I've got three sections and I'm going to begin French braiding like I normally do and I'm going to go across the bottom of my head. So I'm going to make three sections just like I'm doing any other normal French braid and you cross over and then you're going to gather hair on, on the sides as you come around. So I'm going to start gathering hair every time I'm going to make the cross from the side. Gather hair. And I'm pulling the hair from the other side of the head into that side. Remember, you're working towards this side, so kind of direct the braid over there. Now, when you get here, you're going to come to the front. Oops, I need glasses. You, so you can position the braid forward, and you're going to finish it with a regular braid going down the front. So you French braid across the back, regular braid down the side. All the way down. If you have highlights like me, it looks really pretty because you can kind of see it going down the strands. So keep that in mind if you do. I'm not going to go all the way down because I kind of want a little tassel at the bottom. I really think that looks pretty. And I'm going to secure it with a scrunchie at the bottom to hold it in place nicely. And there you have it. So that was very easy. Um, once you get the sections made, it's just a little tricky in the back when you do the French braid across the back, but then it's just a regular braid down the, front, the, the, the side. It's really easy to do. Practice it a little bit. Um, and remember, you're just working this way. So you can a French braid this way and then regular braid down the front. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will give this hairstyle a try. I'm going to give you another look so you can see the back and how it looks. And back. Coming to the front and down. It's very pretty. And it gives a little interest to just wearing a braid um, from behind. You're going to get a lot of compliments and this is a very popular style. I've seen it quite often on actresses on television and sometimes they make it look a little messier so you just don't pull your braid so tight. I did mine a little tighter but closer to my head but if you leave it loose kind of give that billowy look across the back and then down and it just looks really kind of messier. It looks nice with jeans or whatever you want to do and of course if you want it neater you can just you know pull pieces out of your hair. I mean anytime you want to just start pulling if you have layers it's really nice. A lot of of um, my viewers do write me about the French braiding and, and the fishtail braid, whether or not they can do it with layers. And you can, just use smaller pieces and don't worry about if they poke out a little bit. It still looks really pretty. I think it has a romantic look about it, a very sexy look. It's because it's a little bit messy and a little, you can curl little um, hairs around your face 
to, for a little bit of interest and something, you know, to give it, you frame your face better. You don't have to have just all the hair off your face. And you can even um, pin your bangs back if you don't want them in. I like my bangs out. Um, so thanks so much for viewing. Please subscribe because I have a lot more to come. And please do visit me at my blog spot where I do a lot of writing. Thanks so much for viewing. Okay, bye-bye now.